Hello friends, today I am going to teach you about cultivation of button mushroom. In previous lecture, I have talked about number of mushrooms available in world and especially in, in our country India. Today, I am going to, uh, which I am going to talk about button mushroom is almost three fourth uh, production of this mushroom is in our country is of button mushroom. Uh, one fourth mushroom is other mushrooms which are known to oyster, milky, padista mushrooms and other some specialty mushrooms are there. Our country uh, we are obsessed with color basically and we known uh, we uh, know mushroom by the name only button. We if we uh, call mushroom then uh, everybody recognizes as a uh, button mushroom only not other mushrooms. So, this is lack of information, but nowadays awareness is becoming very uh, much available. So, uh, number of mushrooms are there, but today uh, the button mushroom is uh, our topic of discussion and uh, I am going to teach about it. For cultivation of button mushroom basically is a uh, temperate mushroom basically it grows at low temperature, it grows at uh, 16, uh, 14 to 16, 17 degree centigrade temperature and requires humidity, uh, relative humidity uh, is around 70 to 90 percent along with the carbon dioxide content also is important in if you grow in a room then aeration ventilation is required. So, uh, minimum 300 ppm of carbon dioxide will be required in the uh, growing room at the, at the fruiting stage, but uh, for uh, growing this mushroom there are uh, 3 steps. Number 1 is uh, compost preparation uh, that is the substrate on which this mushroom grows that is called button mushroom substrate and that substrate is uh, produced by from uh, the variety of uh, agro waste available in our country, uh, particularly crop residue, wheat star, paddy star like this. Uh, second is important uh, do spawning or putting seed into the compost. This is the second most important step in the mushroom cultivation in any mushroom cultivation. Third is the environment where we uh, keep these uh, mushroom compost and uh, seeded compost in a place in a growing room. The environment of that uh, room of that uh, growing room you can see that is important step. One step after uh, putting spawn and after almost 14, 15 days we require to cover this compost which has co uh, been colonized with butter mushroom fungus that has you colonized by the casing soil and that casing soil is uh, also a, a natural media. So, these steps are uh, more important. Now, I am starting with a how to is a very important uh, uh, to how to produce a, a selective media basically compost is a selective medium on which mushroom only can grow other uh, fungus, other bacteria, other uh, this weeds and uh, cannot grow. This is a specialized selective media on which uh, uh, we can cultivate uh, mushroom, butter mushroom only. And for that purpose particularly in northern India Vista is utilized, Vista is being used for producing compost. For uh, compost production uh, in uh, this Vista as well as Padista is also is available in plenty in northern uh, states. So, uh, similarly in the south if you go in the south southern India in uh, eastern India there is plenty of uh, Vista, uh, this uh, Padista is available. So, uh, second important is uh, use of paddy straw in place of wheat straw for making compost to grow button mushroom. Third one is I have said in earlier that uh, uh, we require agro waste. So, uh, if there is no uh, wheat straw is not available, even uh, paddy straw is not available, then we can go for another uh, uh, any agro residue like uh, sugarcane bagas, similarly pulses uh, waste, similarly oil seed waste. So, this is the uh, any uh, this is the uh, the agro waste available in the field after threshing, after harvesting the whatever agro waste available, uh, we can utilize that one for production mushroom uh, compost. Now, uh, I am talking about Vista and Padistra. You see how Padistra is chopped, and after chopping, 
like making vistra uh, cut pieces of this so that we can handle it easily. So, so why it is chopped one? If we have mechanization, we, we need not to cut it. So, after cutting the pedistra or making good vistra, uh, that's purpose uh, purpose for uh, even for kettles. So, uh, that folder. Uh, like say we have to uh, make the visa pedisa in that form so that we can handle it. Similarly, there is then next step in uh, how to prepare compost. So, once you have selected the substrate visa or pedista or any other material, you have to wet it because mushroom is, is basically fungus and for that if mushroom has to grow, fungus has to grow, it requires some uh, uh, moisture. So, uh, we have to increase the moisture content of these straws and uh, after wetting it, it has to be decomposed, it has to be decomposed like that, so uh, that it become nutritively rich and it become fertile to grow mushroom only. So, to make the uh, vista pedista a fertile medium, we have to first wet it completely and then we have to uh, add some nutrients to it, so that we can get a good uh, quality compost. Make to make it uh, to make, to decompose it and to make it a selective media, we generally add around 60 to 80 percent chicken manure. You can say poultry manure. Uh, this is the basic medium, uh, basic uh, nitrogen supplement from where we can get number of micronutrients as well as basically nitrogen is the main concern here. We uh, get the natural nitrogen from uh, chicken manure, uh, more than around 2 to 3 percent of. Uh, nitrogen we can uh, we can obtain from chicken manure. So, uh, first uh, ingredient in the wheat star or paddy star we have to add is the chicken manure. Uh, another one is uh, this uh, wheat bran you see, this wheat bran is a good uh, calorie content and it uh, supplies a good amount of starch to the uh, micro uh, organisms growing into the uh, substrate. So, uh, we, uh, this is the you see the picture, here you see the uh, this brownish color this is one of the uh, this is the you, uh, you see uh, this is a wheat bran and uh, even in place of wheat bran you can also use rice bran. So, uh, this is the other material second and third one is uh, uh, urea and if you want to uh, replace the urea you can go for uh, uh, this uh, cakes, you can go for soybean cake, you can go for sunflower cake, yeah, mean is, means is to so you have to enrich this uh, wheat star paddy star with the nutrients so that it become a very uh, much fertile. So, after wetting it, after mixing all these ingredients, we make the piles. Uh, these are the piles we make and this is the composting method we are, uh, I am studying, uh, telling you about the long method of composting. There are two methods to make the compost, one is short method and another is long method. This is a long method. This is being practiced in our country uh, and some farmers are now practicing and otherwise most of the farmers, most of the mushroom growers has changed over to, six, uh, to short method of composting. You, what the PPT you are seeing is a manual uh, turning of the substrate after uh, putting all the ingredients, after mixing all the ingredients in the wet straw uh, on second or third day, we can mix all these, uh, all these things and make the pile and after making the pile, we can leave it for 6 days. Uh, in the previous slide, you see, you see the, this is the piles we had, we had made from the wheat straw and paddy straw. We can even use both in the equal combinations or 75, 25 percent combinations, uh, it, uh, it is to you whichever the material is uh, cheaply available. You can wet it and after putting the ingredients, make the pile and it takes around 3 to 4 days. After making pile, you leave it for 6 days. Uh, on 6th day, you have to turn it, so that the material become uniform, otherwise you will, you will find that the inner material is heat, uh, become hot and uh, uh, sir, some white color has been changed but uh, outer layer is still uh, similar to, to the original one. So, to, uh, this is a decomposition process, fermentation process. So, on 6th day, the temperature of the pile you will see, you will observe it will around uh, 55, 60 degrees centigrade and uh, the color has started uh, also uh, becoming brown. So, uh, you see the color, like this the color change the steam you see, this is the natural generated steam out of this pile. So, it means the chemical reaction has, be, has started and this is the compost making basically is a biochemical process and bio I have said mean to say that some microorganisms which are beneficial for decomposition of vista pedista to make a selective medium, 
that grows automatically into it which we feed on it in into it and they supply, uh, they uh, convert the this uh, cellulosic material into a edible uh, edible form so that uh, uh, this fungus can uh, take nutrients out of it and um, uh, give you fruit uh, fruiting body in the shape of mushroom this is the another stage after uh, first day you have uh, uh, on the after making the pile you turn the uh, uh, pile on sixth day and after fourth uh, ne next uh, again fourth day and you can say on tenth day if you start your counting from zero day on zero day you have prepared the uh, piles and on sixth day you have made the first turning and tenth day you make the th uh, uh, third turning and uh, then on thirteenth day next turning fourth turning and, uh, and then the on sixteenth uh, day next turning and uh, then nineteenth uh, day you make another turning and uh, 19th after 19th you make the next uh, turning on 21st then 23rd then 25th and lastly on 28th like this you are uh, turning after day after day uh, uh, after uh, taking a rest of one day only uh, uh, today we have done the turning and uh, next is the rest and third day we are again turning uh, initially you are turning less so that uh, the, the substrate become heat up and microorganisms get developed and the starts uh, uh, their activity. Uh, their activity is to decompose the material in a better way so that uh, uh, the off smell become uh, become emit out and the sweet smell become developed and the microbes also become uh, in uh, good numbers. Actinomyces basically uh, develop in large number. So uh, the color you see uh, in every uh, turning different colors uh, are there and this guy is uh, seeing its moisture content and its heat uh, with the uh, with the thermometer and like this you see the moisture, moisture should be around uh, 68, 69 percent even 70 percent during this course of uh, turning. So, moisture should be proper and the temperature should rise. Initially I told you that in the first turning you know, 6 day you are doing around uh, 40, uh, around 60 degrees temperature is there. Then it will uh, in next uh, turning you will see it will around uh, 70, uh, 65, 70 degrees centigrade. Next turning another, another temperature will rise to 3 degrees centigrade. Like this temperature shoots up to uh, 75, 80 degrees centigrade in this pile. In every turning you will find out the change of color, even smell of the uh, pile become uh, also become uh, attractive and lastly it will be attractive to everybody and uh, you will smell like a good mushroom and uh, no ammonical smell and you will uh, finally the on 28th day the compost become red. And during this course of uh, all the month we have uh, turned the compost for a around uh, 7 to 8 times. So, this is the main purpose to uh, turn so that uniformity becomes and uh, becomes one and the moisture of the uh, whole material become one and similarly the oxygen which become lesser by lesser every day in the pile. So, to uh, supply them oxygen we do the part, uh, turning. So, so, this is turning is very important uh, normally this is being done uh, uh, manually uh, most of the farmers which do cultivation seasonal cultivation in the winters only they do turning by uh, this way. Next uh, uh, you see this is the uh, final compost after 28 day. Similarly, if we go for sort method same things happen, but the time uh, taken in the sort method is only uh, 15 to 17 days, only 15 17 days. In this uh, this uh, 20 days, uh, but in sort methods as uh, the title depicts is only 15 to 17 days like this sort method we require some infrastructure basically. First we have to wet the straw and we have to put the uh, wetted straw and uh, mixed material into a uh, chamber that is called phase 1 chamber. In phase 1 chamber uh, like this the, uh, the, the floor is uh, uh, all sieves are there so that uh, air can come out of it and we put the all the uh, uh, ingredient mix uh, wheat straw paddy straw into it and leave it for uh, another 3 days uh, the automatically the blowers runs and offs in the in a one hour around 15 minutes the blower remains on and rest of the time remains off. So, the is a aerated fermentation of the uh, material basically. So, in this way the faster decomposition occurs in, in earlier slides we have shown the turning was doing was done by the manually. So, why to get uh, to insert the oxygen into it to feed the microorganisms in the in this case we uh, put forcible uh, oxygen into it and like this 
the this is phase 1 tunnels after wetting the substrate and putting the organic grains and we make either make the pile or we uh, put it in the uh, this one phase 1 tunnels and uh, the blower runs automatically uh, is remains here around 10 days and after 10th day on 12th day we put into the phase 2 tunnel that is called pasteurization chamber in that uh, we do uh, this is the pasteurization uh, sketch of uh, this is the uh, you see here the blower is underground and uh, blower throws the air the air passes through this uh, substrate uh, this is the compost we have prepared 10 days uh, in outdoor and in the phase 1 bunkers and second uh, ne next uh, uh, around 7 days it will remain in the phase 2 chamber that is pasteurization chamber uh, we put the compost and start the blower all the doors have been closed we circulate the air inside it and rise the temperature uh, uniformly all the uh, mass and uh, we uh, take to the temperature around 57 to 60 degrees centigrade and at this temperature all the microbes which are not required in the compost gets killed that is gets killed and the, uh, the compost become pasteurized and then we again start uh, the uh, temperature uh, starting take temperature lowering it down uh, uh, slightly very uh, slowly and slowly uh, around uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 uh, per hour like this. Then uh, uh, it uh, the temperature reaches to 57, 50, 60 degrees in, in around uh, uh, 2, 3 days on second day uh, almost it happens. Then next day we slow down temperature the slightly slowly 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 like this we do and uh, on seventh day uh, the temperature becomes automatically become uh, normal it goes around 30 35 degree because all the nutrients which have been in, in uh, added into the substrate in the visa pedista has been utilized into the compost and they have made a selective media like this that uh, in so long method it was 20 days in is in it is 10 10 day there and 7 days there like this we take 15 to 17 days only in the uh, phase 2 tunnels. Uh, for pasteurizing we are putting this uh, the chamber in the pasteurized chamber this is photograph this is a ready compost uh, in the pasteurized you see how the good you see the ectomyces there and this is good material uh, the advantage of this material is that uh, in the in comparison of long method a long method we get lesser quantity of final compost. Uh, you see from 100 quintal of uh, dry straw we get around uh, 200 quintals of ready compost in long method. But in case of uh, this short method we can get around 2.5 to 3 times Dice, uh, around uh, you can say to 250 to 300 quintals of compost ready, ready compost will get more. So, this is the basic difference and qualitative and quantitative both differences higher the maximum good quality compost will get and this compost is ready to uh, cultivate the mushroom basically this substrate you can uh, either you can take from the uh, any unit or you can take from uh, any government institute uh, after taking ready compost you can go for further uh, uh, for cultivation of butter mushroom you basically need compost pasture compost is better for cultivation of uh, butter mushrooms uh, this is about uh, uh, how to produce pasture substrate pasture compost for butter mushroom cultivation thank you